congratulations on being promoted to the midday slot on WGCI. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's so exciting. I've been working the weekends for quite some time now. So to be promoted to the midday spot is a dream come true. We know that you leverage your popularity on the show Black Ink Crew to get the job at WGCI. But we also know that you graduated from Howard and you always had an interest in radio. So can you quickly share with us your path to radio having now having your own show? Yes, sure. So um, when I went to Howard, I totally had a passion for radio, but my dad was kind of more like, you need to be a doctor or a lawyer type of guy. Um, so I was a speech pathology and audiology major, which was still in the School of Communications, but it was like a communication science major. Um, I ended up on Black Ink Crew Chicago, which was just like, you know, how God set up my life. And while I was on Black Ink Crew Chicago, the program director, or while I'm still on Black Ink Crew Chicago, but at the time, the program director um, of WGCI, I guess he was a fan of the show and he was tuning in. I guess he saw the show. And one day I woke up and he DM'd me and told me to come meet with him. So when I met with him, he basically offered me a job. He recognized, like, he just could tell that my voice would be good for radio. Now that you've been in it so heavily for four years now, can you tell us really quickly what you've learned about the business that maybe surprised you that you didn't know going in? It's a lot of hard work. It's not just cracking the mic and talking. Um, everybody, Everybody's radio show is different, but with iHeartRadio, I engineer and produce my radio show along with, you know, come up with the content and everything. So I mean, everything that you hear that's playing, I'm engineering all of that putting the songs together, um, you know, stacking them up tight so it sounds like a mixtape and just creating the entire vibe. And I had no idea it was so much work. I thought you just hop on like, what's up Chicago, it's Charmaine. Like, no, I gotta make sure you hear my voice at the right time. I gotta make sure our commercials are playing at the right time. There's a lot of in-house work that goes along with it, so. Absolutely. And you know what? You've also been doing a lot of great interviews. Can you tell me uh, what you've learned about that aspect? What makes for a good interview? Just to be candid, to be open, you know, not to do interviews and like act all brand new, like, oh, I'm doing an interview. Like, no, girl, you know, be yourself. And I, for me, because I interview people, you know, I want them to be open. So I know what I want to give when I'm doing an interview. Mm -hmm. 